Hi everyone, it's Brady with Street Smart. I'm here with Tim Jackson, our nationwide smart work zone expert. We're going to provide a quick project overview today on a system we have out near Washington, D.C. This one specifically deals with notifying the motorist that there are buses merging onto the highway. So, Tim, you want to maybe talk about how this request came about and, and what you have going on? Yeah, so one of our traffic control partners reached out with a uh, project plan sheet looking for a solution um, for a video detection system with a post-mounted uh, static sign and like wigwag flasher style um, alert signage to provide real-time information for buses merging onto the high speed or left lane um, on the freeway, which is right in the approach of a lane closure or lane taper for the work zone. Okay, so you just mentioned a couple of pieces of equipment there. You said the wigwag and a camera. So what is this stuff and how are you getting power to it and how does it work for this system? Yeah, so the specification called out a post-mounted system. Our team got together and decided to use one of our turnkey trailer platforms. That's a DC system already run with battery, solar, regulators, and cellular communication. Um, additionally, the system was outfitted with radio communication to provide instantaneous or near instantaneous from detection to activation to alert drivers that buses are merging into the highway. Okay, so the camera is mounted on the trailer, sends a message to the sign and uh, activates the beacons? Yep, alternating flashers, yep. Okay, let's head inside and see this system in our software and also on a map to show you exactly where it's located. All right, so as we mentioned, this project is out near Washington, D.C. And Tim, can you show us and tell us kind of what this software is and, and how your team utilizes it? Yeah, so typically the software we use very often for our fleet management and smart work zones to run automation. In this application, the system is running on radio and relay for that instantaneous communication. So what we're doing is we're monitoring the system for health, you know, activations, logging, pulling data for our customer and adding users uh, from the DOT and our customer as well so they have access to monitor this themselves. Okay, so another benefit it obviously shows you the ge geographic location of the trailer. So you wanna talk about kind of why and where you positioned it as it relates to the congestion of the normal traffic flow there. Yeah, so this location is at the gore of a uh, bus only merging ramp um, that's impacted due to a work zone up north here at that entry point, which has reduced the acceleration lane for buses. So what we're doing is we're activating a sign um, using a FLIR camera for presence detection to alert drivers in that fast lane that buses are, are converging ahead. Nice. What other technologies are you know, being used out in work zones, Tim, that people may not uh, be aware of that you're seeing? Yeah, absolutely. So, so very often you know, we're, we're collecting average speed data using microwave sensors, Doppler sensors, um, displaying that uh, um, output to drivers to notify them of stopped or slow traffic giving a travel time advisories uh, for detours or expectations throughout the work zone. You are even telling me about the ability to integrate kind of the uh, location of highway helper vehicles and things like that with uh, the icon device? Yeah, correct, yeah. We're also doing connected work zones, so um, this could be output as a location um, to uh, driver vehicle mapping systems, Waze, Google, um, et cetera, TomTom, et cetera. Nice. And the big thing you mentioned is all of this is happening without any manual intervention, nobody needing to remember to flip a switch. Correct, correct. From deployment, it's automated um, and hands off from there. Very nice. Cool. Well, thanks, Tim. That was a great overview. And if you need follow-up information on any of this, give the Street Smart team a call. Thank you.